How to install a fiberglass canvas. Difficulty level 1 hammer. Installing a fiberglass canvas is easy and it will cover up any imperfections in a wall. You will need rolls of fiberglass canvas and special glue. You will need a sponge, scissors, a craft knife, a tape measure, a 2 meter steel rule, a plumb line, a bucket, a paintbrush, a roller, a paper hanging brush, a smoothing blade, a seam roller, and finally a step ladder. Remove the old wall covering. Use a steam stripper to remove the old paper or a sander to remove paint to improve the bond of the paste. You must check three things. Make sure the wall is clean, otherwise remove all traces of dust or wash it. Next, make sure it is completely flat. If necessary, use filler for the holes or cracks. Finally, make sure that the wall is completely dry. Look for any signs of damp and deal with it using an appropriate treatment. It is a good idea to apply an undercoat first on a bare or stripped wall. For a better finish and before applying the canvas, use caulking compound between the wall and the woodwork, including skirting boards, doors or window architraves. You should also turn off the electricity and remove plug sockets and switches. Mix the paste until it is smooth, following the manufacturer's guidelines. It is very important to let it stand. You can even prepare it the night before. Mark the wall with reference points using a tape measure. Measure the width of the drop at the top of the wall from the edge. Drop the plumb line from this point and make a series of small marks all the way down the wall. Then measure the height of the wall. Using a brush or roller, paste the canvas leaving a slight gap at the sides. You can now hang the first drop. Place the drop at the edge of the wall, 5 cm overlapping at the top. Check the canvas edge is vertically aligned with the base and the reference marks down the wall. Use the wallpaper brush to smooth the surface from the center to the edges. This will get rid of any trapped air bubbles. Cut off the excess canvas by the skirting boards with the smoothing blade. Do the same where the ceiling and the wall meet. If you think the corner of the wall is not plumb, mark the first reference point 5 cm inside the width of the canvas sheet. Drop the plumb line and continue marking points down the wall. Align the first drop with these points. The canvas sheet will cover the corner and overlap onto the other wall. Cut to join them. The edge will now be vertical even if the walls are not. Position the second drop side by side. You can lift and replace the canvas sheet if necessary. Cut off the excess paper at the top and bottom, then smooth where the two drops meet with a wallpaper brush. Use a damp sponge to remove any excess paste that appears at this joint. To put up the last piece, measure the gap from the last edge and the wall. It's a good idea to take measurements from several places as walls are not always very straight. Cut along the width of this drop, adding 5 cm. Once the drop is smoothed down, cut off excess in the corner with a craft knife. Hanging paper in the corner edge. Hang the drop from the corner to the other piece, overlapping by several centimeters, using the next drop to cover the edge of the corner by several centimeters. Cut the two sheets of canvas. Remove the offcut, holding the paper in place with the rule to stop it tearing. Lift the bottom of the wallpaper, remove the second offcut, then smooth the edges. To hang canvas in a horizontal corner, Work from the top down using the brush to push the paper into the corner edge. Smooth down to the wall, then cut off the excess. To mark the canvas around a window, press a finger onto the canvas. Cut at an angle up to this mark. Fold the canvas, then smooth it down. Use the craft knife and the smoothing blade to finish cutting off any excess. To fix the canvas behind pipes, push it down on the pipe fixing. Use scissors to cut to this mark. Work the canvas behind the pipe with the craft knife. Cut a star shape around the brackets and smooth it all down again. For electric sockets and switches. Sockets and switches were removed earlier and the electricity was turned off. Mark the outline of the socket box. Use a knife to cut around the socket box. You can now replace the sockets and switches. Place the last drop in position on top of the previous one.
cut the top sheet vertically down. Remove the two offcuts. You may see air bubbles appearing two or three days after hanging the paper. These will fade on their own. If they remain, use a syringe to inject a little paste into the air bubble. Smooth it down and wipe with a damp sponge. You can paint your walls with two coats of acrylic paint 24 hours after hanging the canvas sheet.